Hi friends, Saurav here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn about how to create Apex application from a, from a data set which is already there in Apex instance actually. So for that I have created a workspace. The workspace name is practice underscore deck. I'm going to log into this workspace and we'll create a fresh application. So let me enter the password here. And once uh, we will get into this environment, we can see all these uh, component, app builder, SQL workshop, team development, and gallery. So we'll, we'll create a new application. But before that, we'll go to utilities. Under uh, SQL workshop, we have uh, utilities. We'll go to all utilities. And here we have an option called uh, sample data set. So using sample data set, we are going to create an application. So before going to this place, let me show you, we do not have any application. If I'll go to App Builder, you can see this is completely blank. We don't have any application here. I'm going to create a new uh, application with the data set what we already have in Apex. So we'll go to all utilities. We'll go to sample data sets. And here we have different type of data sets. So let's say if I'll sele select uh, this project data, you can choose anyone as per your uh, maybe the convenience or uh, your uh, understanding i'll just take this project data so that we can uh, see how uh, the application will get generated on this so i'll click on this install button here i get uh, these informations you can go ahead and read it and then click on next and then click on install data set so once this installation will get done you can you will be able to see all these tables and views in your database object uh, these table will get created and these views will get created in uh, the database object. So here, as you can see, uh, these object name. Uh, so you can see these table names and views got created. Now uh, we have an option as create application. I'll click on this create application. Uh, so as soon as I click on that, I will get into this place where we can give a, give a name to this application. I, as it is already taken demonstration projects, this is good. So we are not going to change the name and we have respective pages also. Some pages got created uh, on the sample data, what got generated from the table, what we just did. Okay. And we have this features already uh, checked. You can get all this information with the application. All right. So now let's click on this create application. We are not going to do any change. We'll just click on this create application. So you can see the progress uh, application is going to get created. Once this application will get created, you can log into application and see all these uh, pages. Okay. So uh, if I'll come down, you can see we have a lot of pages got created. Total 32 pages got created over here. And uh, yeah, so let's click on, uh, clicks, uh, click on this run application and we'll see what are the 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 features you got so let me give my credential over here and here we have this is the beautiful uh navigation menu you can say and at top left corner this pan also got created as navigation menu uh, and one by one, we'll check all these things. Let's click on this dashboard. Here you have this beautiful dashboard. Then if we we'll click on this projects, you can see the multiple project got created over here. Yeah, so it, it looks like this is the name of the project and this is the information about the project. All right, now I'll click on this milestone and you will see uh, this is this beautiful report got created. So here you have the project, project, the name of the project and description and due date. Okay, something like this. Uh, we have this information and let's click on this task. So this is the facet search also got created here. We have this search, beautiful search field and the report 
if i will come down i can you can see all this report information so you we can search from here let's say if i choose only for it management app or this it management app will get searched and you can see the tags over here okay let me select one milestone over here and you can see respective information will come down you can see the signee so brock Brock Schilling is one of the assignee. You can get his information and the cost as well. So you have a beautiful search field along with this. All right. And uh, then we'll see the task calendar. <clears throat> okay, so this beautiful calendar got created. You can see this task is somehow, you know, merged with the date and days over here. All right, now let's go to administration and we'll see uh these controlling features so configuration theme style dashboard top users number of users access control so all these features also got got added in this application so this is i mean how you can create an application in few clicks without any coding nothing you have done you have not created any report you have not written single line of code just few clicks and this got created okay so this is how we can create an application uh, just if you have some data, you can create your application without writing any uh, any uh, code, basically. Okay. So in next lecture, we will see how to create these components manually. If you want to, let's say you want to add something or you want to remove something or you want to add, uh, you know, edit some information or look and feel you want to change. So all those things we will learn in coming, coming uh, sessions. Thank you. Thanks for your... Uh, I mean, thanks for watching this tutorial. Thanks. Bye.